This is extremely unpleasant. Oh my God, what am I walking through right now? So much rain. Good morning to you guys. Today is April 17th, a whole new day, and the first vlog start on my new channel. This is the John Ish channel. Aside from the Exploring with John channel, this will be my daily vlog channel. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny saying that. Um, right now, right now I'm inside a hostel. I left from the Exploring crew, and I will be going out to Osaka to finalize my Japan Explorers. If you guys haven't really watched. I've been doing Japan Explorers for like the past month and Asia Explorers. It's all on my main channel, but it's starting new on this channel. It's just a whole new video starting right now. Gotta go get ready. The last thing I was expecting out of my entire day today was to deal with all this rain. Like how? This is so random and unbelievable. I really have to start to look at the weather channel to at least know what the heck is going on because this rain is unbelievable. Anyway, we have to head out to the airport right now. I got a troop all the way over there. By the time I get there, I'll be extremely soaked. Ugh. On my way. We're an extremely unpleasant start to our morning day. Like, just what, what happened? That is what I walked through. By the way, I do have to get to our airplane right now. So I've got to make it on time. Whether through thick and thins, I have to go through it all. Just need to figure out what I'm gonna eat for right now. Which doesn't hurt. I get this. Good old morning start to a great old coffee. I never tried this before. I'll grab this right here. The last thing I'd ever anticipate was this much rain on the day I gotta get to my airport. Thankfully, I'll just be taking trains the entire way and taking a bus. Other than that, I do have to walk through some rain just to get there. It's so unfortunate. I don't want to look forward to it. It's really like Florida all over again. Like one moment it is downpouring like crazy. And then the other moment, the entire weather just completely stops. Like, <laughs> what is the point? What's the purpose of that? Anyway, we are at the... I made it to the first train station. I got like a whole hour trip to get to the airport. I'm hoping everything could go really well with taking this in. I mean, I'm carrying all the guys' stuff in this. This has Cody, Steve's, and Josh's bag right here. It's definitely gonna be overweight, but I have to see when I get there. One of the biggest things I'm gonna really miss is coming to Nagasaki, enjoying this very calm atmosphere, enjoying the entire scenic view of all the mountains in the far background. It's like I've never grown up in a place where I've had like mountains just like appear there with like that smog feel and like like the fog in the far distance. I've never had that. The thing with Nagasaki is that it has all that. It just has that really calm, peaceful atmosphere. I am going to miss Nagasaki and I do want to give a shout out to all the people I've met here, especially Espinage for showing us all the cool abandoned places that he knows, along with the secret stuff that he always kind of kept to himself without actually telling anyone. So it felt like a real special thing for me personally to go and actually explore those places just because it's like that secret thing, you know? It's not like a whole tourist attraction. I'm gonna miss this place a lot. Farewell. Farewell, Nagasaki. Time, this is the actual Nagasaki airport bus. Just right on time. Literally, I just seen a random bus here and I walked all the way down to see it and it says Nagasaki Airport. So, just right on time, thankfully. Very 
very well going to miss Nagasaki. It's just the type of town, like the vibe that I offered and the places that we've seen, along with the entire explore scene that we did, all the abandoned stuff. I'm not sure if I posted it on my main channel yet, but I know in one week I will be announcing the abandoned island series video, which means it showcases how we went from one place to the other and this entire abandoned island, went to the abandoned island, did like four places in one day. It was just an amazing journey. I gotta take this off. I'm definitely gonna take one of these home with me just because I know America does not have these cool white things and these things are just sold at 7-Eleven here. And it's just, I don't know, I just feel so cool wearing them. I enjoy wearing this. Okay, I'm wearing all this extra layer just to make sure that I don't weigh down the bag too much. So I took out some layers. This is actually Cody's sweater. I have a lot of Cody's and Steve's stuff along with Josh's bag right here. Hopefully they will allow this much weight on the plane. It's extremely heavy. I gotta head off. I found this amazing peaceful place for me to sit at and relax as I wait for my airline to open up. Um, it's just, it surprises me. It's just amazing where like when I come to Nagasaki, I feel so like connected with the city. Like, you know, I'm just walking around just just the way the atmosphere, just the way the atmosphere is, the entire environment, the, the place kind of like, you just feel so connected with it. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that feels this, like, I mean, I mean, we're all like extremely all different people. So we're, we all, we all don't have the same opinions on that, the way we think of things. It's like so hard to describe it, but I just know that when I come around to like Nagasaki and was walking around at night and walk around doing my videos, even making a video dedicated to my brother, I feel extremely connected with the place where I was able to connect with the, the town versus like how I am with other places. It's a little hard to describe. It's like I could compare, like I could relate to this town and like the history of it. You know, I mean, it was bombed before. Nagasaki did deal with a lot of drastic history, but the thing was they rebuilt themselves. They became back to who they were. I mean, the entire, the entire Japan area is, it's just all extreme peace, all about peace and just very relaxing and calming. And that's where I was able to kind of like take my inner self and just relate to this place and just feel connected. So I made, that's why I made the whole video dedicated to my brother. I thought about it and I was like, I feel so, like I was supposed to do a whole different video that day. And then coming around there, I felt like I was able to connect with it and connect it with a different vibe. I've been playing Metal Gear Solid right on my phone. A great way to kill time. It's like my preparation for my flight. Considering the fact that I don't have a Nintendo Switch, I thought I'd just play this just to kill time, you know? I was a little jealous that the guys got the Switches and I didn't. We've been on a delay for probably like four hours now, but that is the plane. Let's get over there. That looks just right. Osaka, here I come. Just got to Osaka now and you won't believe this. It's still raining. As of right now, it is still raining. Like how unbelievable is that? I thought I was gonna escape the rain. Instead, I ran into more rain. Oh my goodness. Let's get our luggage. We have a long and drastic walk to the hostel right now. A whole long drastic walk. Whew. I needed a quick break to, to eat. I feel like I haven't ate all day. I think my entire day was actually based off a whole sandwich. I had a small sandwich, I just came all the way over here. It's been like four or six hours since I actually ate some real food. Oh man, I am so exhausted. It's so hot because I have all these layers of clothes on that I'm wearing here. Only just because I, would, I didn't want to go over the weight and pay like an extra $50. So I was like, you know what? Threw everything all into that bag. No, I mean, no, I got, I got the wrong way. I threw everything in that bag onto me and then and then after that i threw some of the stuff after the flight into back into the bag but i'm still wearing all the layers just because you know it's raining it's still pretty drastic out there um i guess since i'm on a little break from my trip right now i guess i can explain a little things to you guys so the reason of my second channel and 
the reason my second channel versus my first channel, I want to do it a lot different. Like in a sense, I want to focus this entire channel to my lifestyle, more personality driven versus being like professional and using a professional camera. Meanwhile, I want to focus a professional camera and all the crazy camera work and everything on my main channel, including abandoned videos, like cool 4K, like time lapses and just all things like that will be on the main channel. Meanwhile, this channel focuses more on my personality, my vlogs, everything. What happened is something I realized that really stuck out to me and this is this will this will be like in a whole separate video on my main channel if you guys want to watch that. I'll go further in depth. But for for now I'll just give it a small basis. My entire main channel, before the entire USA road trip, before I began like actually like daily vlogging and doing all of that, I realized that I've lost over so many views, so much, due to like the algorithm changes and all of that came into play. So I realized during my entire USA road trip, everything went downhill. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, before all that, everything was kind of going a little bit more progress. So right now, my channel is not making any progress. It's actually been going more downhill every single year. And that's why I realized I should have done this way before versus when versus right now, personally. So a further good explanation is um, daily vlogging was actually killing my channel. In a sense, can you imagine it? Think about it. Before the entire USA road trip, I went from weekly uploads to uploading on a daily base which means that people who were like had like the bell the notifications were getting notifications constantly and they probably got irritated and annoyed and kind of dinged off of it which is what which is what made me realize that I needed to change things up a bit a year later <laughs> since uh, since it's kind of raining I couldn't really get much of a vlog today so my vlog is basically focused on me traveling through the crazy rain let's feast I am so hungry Throughout the entire journey I went through today, I think I finally made it to the hostel. Let's have to find which one of these buildings is actually my hostel. Wow, talk about being drained. Carrying this thing around is the worst. When you're transferring hostel to hostel, just remember to pack lightly. Unfortunately, I couldn't pack lightly. I, I start, the thing is, I start off lightly and then the guys gave me everything. Cause I, Cause I had to go home, so now I'm carrying everyone else's things. It started off with just a small luggage bag. Now at the end of the trip, I had this huge suitcase. Like damn. To the hostel, and this is like a small tour of where, like a small area where I'm staying. There's a, somebody staying there already. There was supposed to be somebody staying here, I guess he's staying in Kyoto. And this could have been my bed, or that could have been my bed. Um, I guess I could introduce you to the others. Oh snap! You're watching Steins Gate. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, Everyone. Else is. Everyone. <laughs> what? Coot. Poot. Poot. Kana. Howard. Howard. And Catalina. And this is where I'm staying for the next few days. To summarize up my entire Japan trip, it has been a very long journey. But yeah, back to America after all of this. And, Unfortunately, with the entire weather and it already being 11 o'clock, I don't think I will be heading out again today. I'm going to be ending the vlog here. It's already 11 over here, which means it's probably 10 in the morning for you there. And I should have had this vlog edited probably like uh, 24, 20 to like 2 hours ago. But unfortunately, it's just been on a plane going from Nagasaki to Osaka. I just want to keep you guys up to date with like a small lifestyle vlog. So. Here it is. While I'm in Osaka, tomorrow I leave out and explore around Osaka. I do want to find a break dancing scene. I've been really craving to dance for some reason or find something abandoned. Um, hopefully someone can help me out with that. But anyways, tune in for some more John-ish videos and don't forget to check out the primary channel. I will be uploading an update channel, an update video either tomorrow to let you guys know and inform you guys about this channel and further updates about this stuff. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you later.